this week we've been really focused on our goals and laser focus like magnifying glass make a fire focus and one of the things I've learned is that when you focus on something big time that you really do you come up with ideas solutions uh, obstacles that come your way are kind of like not really obstacles it's just one more step to get closer to your goal but you learn something and um, it's just really neat because right now we've got people focused on catching crab and they're like laser focused on catching crab so I know we're gonna get a bunch of crab today that's what I've been and I'm reporting live from here at Westport Harbor next to the water right here Today is our last day in Westport. We've been out here for the weekend and we had two main focuses to accomplish as we were here. The first was to celebrate my dad's birthday and the second was to explore the town a bit. But check out this view. <laughs> One thing I realized when it comes to focus and why I'm such a big believer on focusing on progress over done and the end goal too much is because when we focus on the end goal, we're thinking of all the things that need to be done in order to hit and accomplish that goal. And our mind doesn't know where to go. It's kind of like that phrase, you know, where energy goes or where focus goes, energy flows. When there's too many things to focus on, we get overwhelmed. While Sione and I went out to explore, my dad set his focus on two other things. One, catch a lean cod for the first time, and two, catch some crab. They caught a big fish. What happened? Or three, huh? I caught three. So every time we come to the jetties, we try to catch, I've been trying to catch a lean cod because I've never caught a lean cod. So we came out for my birthday down here and it's opening day out here at Westport, Washington. And we're just, me and Brittany were out on the jetty getting set up. I threw my lure out uh, two times and on the second cast, I got my first lean cod. So he's about this big, and then about good size, and then uh, nothing after that. Everyone around was cheering because uh, no one was catching. And then uh, about maybe about an hour and a half later, I caught a nice fat kelp greeling, and then uh, I decided to go back and switch back to throwing the lure out to see if I can catch me my second lean cod. And it was about four casts. And then this one was huge. And then you have to see the pictures. And we'll show you the pictures. But he was so big, I couldn't pull him up. And then I was afraid to lose him. So I had to wedge him down in the rocks and the waves. And then I climbed down and I'm all wet because I had to go down 
and get him out of the rocks and he actually bit my thumb <laughs> and then I got cut on the finger trying to just get him out because the wave hit when I grabbed at him and his mouth turned and he got the tip of my my thumb <laughs> but you don't care huh I don't care <laughs> it was my birthday wish to, to come out and catch and that's the fish I wanted to catch because I've been trying to catch it every time going to the jetty and not only did I get one, I got two, and I got a huge one, so. <laughs> <laughs> why we're here it's for his birthday opening season wanted to come up here jetty fishing has always been a struggle especially with Brittany and Kavehi they drive real hard I've caught a few fish but my goal was to catch a lean cod so opening day I wanted to catch a lean cod cast out once nothing Second cast, I got my clean card. <laughs> and Brittany with the assist to help me bring it in. Brittany. So she climbed down through the rocks and got my fish for me and handed it up. I and then things were slow. Brittany was struggling. I was struggling. Everyone around us was struggling. But then I told Brittany, maybe we're fishing it the wrong way. Let me switch. So I switched my drop rod groups. And I went to a Carolina rig. And when we I threw my Carolina rig out, I sat there for a little while, and then BAM! I got me my second fish, which was a green kelp kelpling. Well <laughs> greenling. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh Brittany assisted me on that one too. I flipped it up and she got my fish for me and then took my picture. So then after a little while I switched all the riggings. And then Kavehi finally showed up after her meeting. So I got her all set up and she was trying real hard and she kept losing her lines too. And then I figured, ah, I got one. My limit is two. Let me see if I can get a second one. So I put the same lure back on. This time my fourth cast, bam! This one was three times bigger than the first one. <laughs> and it's like, I thought I was going to lose it because I couldn't flip it up and it was way, way down in the in the surf and the rocks. So I found a spot in the rocks where there was a wedge that I could wedge the fish in there and have Brittany hold my line. And then we grabbed the net. Kavehi was filming. I climbed down in the rocks and then into the water to grab the fish as a wave hit. <laughs> and I actually got the fish up and out and then we had to put it in the net. And it was huge, and it, I got battle scars. It bit me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's his sweater. That's why. It says, bite me. <laughs> and it's a fishing sweater. He attracted that one totally. <laughs> well, so there's uh, one of the commercial boats was going by and coming up to grab one of their crab pots where we were crabbing. And they go, you want some extra crabs? We give them to you for free. It says, oh, great. It's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. And then they gave me three crabs. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Well, that's all we got for this adventure. Who knows what lessons this week will bring. Bye. What does it say? What to do to escape a tsunami. There's three paragraphs there. You don't even need to read that. I can tell you in a few words. High tail it to high ground. Wait, what does that say? Drop cover and hold during an earthquake. After the earthquake, immediately move uphill or inland. Do not return to the beach after the first tsunami wave. More waves may arrive for several hours. Wait for official notice for 30s. 
that the danger has passed before returning to the beach.